on a race track in the eastern North Carolina countryside. Green flag! The sound where the rubber meets the road is deafening. It's extremely loud. Man, this is fast. It was crazy. Yeah, what well, he said. Woo! <laughs> For these crazed fans. Thrills ride on the chassis of many horses. This stallion is breeding a second generation driver, Chuck Godley's 1993 Ford Mustang. It's a family heirloom. But even though number 64 is Chuck's car, he's not the one driving it. I know he would have wanted me to do it. He would have liked to see me race. On August 27th, he died in a car wreck. On VOA Road. In a head-on collision. In Washington. Got the phone call. I think it was around 10 or 11 at night, 10, something like that. Somebody came up here and knocked on the back door and said, Chuck's been in a wreck and it's pretty bad. It's been a while, but it still tough. The honor of driving 64 has fallen to his biggest fan. For Lee Campbell, Chuck's 17-year-old half-brother, driving the car seemed natural. When my brother died, I mean, I wanted to race, of course, but taking over was something different. But now that he, now that he passed away, I mean, I kind of have to. I got to keep it going, you know. Number 64 is taking on new meaning. That's just his number. It's the only way I can explain it. That's just his number. With a set of new tires. It's a monument on wheels. But Lee has a big seat to fill. Chuck won his first race when he was just 13 years old. The class that he first started in, it was all new people. They had never driven before, he had never driven before, and he went out there and I think he won his first race ever. In 15 years of racing, he won three championships at the Speedway in Robertsonville. Sometimes he start in the rear and maybe 10 laps he'd be in front. We kind of caught us off guard how good he really was at it, but it was his thing. He knew only one thing, go to the front. I plan on putting a picture in the car so I can always have me with him when I'm racing. Chuck will be there, no doubt about it. He'll be right beside him. He'll be saying, go, go fast, <laughs> run over this one. <laughs> Lee Campbell driving that famous number 64, made famous Woo! by the great Chuck Godley. These seasoned vets were his rivals. But if divine intervention can help Lee's chances, on, what will? Yeah, Kevin Pierce jumping out into the lead. He's in the back, but he had not tore anything up, so he's doing good. He's getting used to it. The scoreboard tells the story. Number 64, fifth place in a division with five cars. It's Pierce, Mars, Whitehurst, and iPod. If he makes it through the first one, that'll get him incentive to do better next time. Out of turn number four, Kevin Pierce. Your winner, the car number 12 of Kevin Pierce. But you don't have to be in first to be a winner in this crowd. Yeah, we just got to carry them with us, you know, just like they always do. The act of showing up is enough. Chuck Godley. We miss him. We love him. His legacy will live on forever here at the East Carolina Motor Speedway. How did it feel? Uh, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Think you'll have an easier time next time? Uh, I'll just... Getting used to it? I'll just have to get better. Yeah. It's the only thing I can do. In Robertsonville, Kyle Haran for Fox Eastern Carolina News.